Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with a video on Chess Queen wins European Rapid and Blitz Championships 2019. What is this about? Well, the European Championships for Women Rapid and Blitz were held at the end of November 2019 and both events were won by the same player. The 13th Classical World Champion Alexandra Kostinyuk who calls herself the Chess Queen on Instagram and I think she has some right to do so. She won both events. The Blitz Championships were played first and Kostanyuk won it with 10 points out of 13 games, followed by Antoinetta Stefanova from Bulgaria and Valentina Gunina from Russia who took silver and bronze. On the tiebreak you can see there were a number of players on 9.5 out of 13. Here we see the winners Kostanyuk on the right, Stefanova in the middle and Gunina on the left. All 13 rounds were played in one day and then there followed two Days of Rapid and Kostanyuk won again, this time ahead of Olga Giria from Russia and again Antoinetta Stefanova from Bulgaria who took the bronze medal. Kostanyuk had to beat Giria in a tiebreak to get a gold medal. They both finished with 9 points out of 11 games and you can see that Stefanova finished third even though there were many players with 8 points out of 11. Stefanova had a better tiebreak score. A picture of the winners, Kostanyuk, the gold medal winner in the middle. On the right, Olga Giria, the silver medalist. And on the left, Antoinetta Stefanova, who picked up the bronze in the rapid section. And of course, I will show you a game from this event, but not from the winner. And not even from number two and number three. I've decided to show you a game from a chess legend. The lady here on the left is Maya Chiburanice from Georgia. The seventh women's world chess champion who held the title from 1978 to 1991. She had retired but returned for this event. Her predecessor Nona Gaprindashvili also played in this event. It was great to see these legends of women's chess returning to the tournament arena. We're going to look at round one from the Blitz when Maya Chibunanice had a white pieces against Julia Novkovic from Austria. The time control was three minutes per player for the whole game plus a two second increment per move. Chibunanice was white. As said, she was the seventh classical world champion from 1978 to 1991 and was also the youngest women's world champion until 2010 when that record was broken by Ho Yi Fan. She opened d4, knight f6 from Novkovic, knight f3 from Chibonanice, g6 from Novkovic, c4 and bishop g7. During her career, Chibonanice often found herself on the black side of the king's Indian. This time she faces that opening with white. Her longtime coach was Eduard Gufeld, who was a big expert of the King's Indian, and that's probably one of the reasons that Chibo Danitsa played that opening her whole life. Now with white, she goes for the g3 line, d6, bishop g2, castling, knight c3 developing, knight bd7, and Chibo Danitsa castles. Here e5 is the main move according to theory, but Novkovic plays c6, also fine. Now e4, with a very impressive center, is the main move for white, but h3 is also played a lot, and was played by Chibodanitsa in this game. e5 is possible here, but queen c7 was Novkovic's choice, and again e4 can be played, but Chibodanitsa played queen c2. Now e5, rook d1, rook e8, and Chibodanitsa took on e5. D takes and bishop e3. As we'll see, the former world champion goes for a play on the queen side instead of occupying the center with her e-pawn. She keeps the e-pawn on e2 for the moment. b6, b4, bishop b7 and the c5 push. That pawn was taken. B takes. And here, knight d5 is the best move for black, according to the engine, with an equal position. But Novkovic went for queen a5, and that is not a good move. It looks good, putting a lot of pressure on the c5 pawn, attacked with two pieces and only defended by the bishop. But queen a5 is in fact, for tactical reasons, not a good move. Chibranice shows her class by finding the best move in this position in a blitz game. Knight f3 to d2. This knight is on its way to d6 and will cause havoc in black's position. Novkovic took the pawn and that is too greedy. 
because now knight c4 came with a tempo on the queen the queen is attacked the queen really should go to a6 here it's the best square at least she's protecting the bishop there but it's already bad for black Novkovic's move was even worse she played the queen to b4 instead and the tactics don't work out for black as we'll see knight d6 has planned and now rook a to b1 is the big threat hitting the queen hitting the bishop through the queen and that bishop is already attacked by the knight so when the queen moves after rook a b1 then white will take on c5 removing the defender of the bishop and then will win a piece on b7 black used a lot of time here she was already low on time and now she got really in big time trouble and found knight d5 this move is not the solution but there was already no solution for black white was already winning Shibudanitsa didn't spend a lot of time she took on d5 and now the knight on c5 is not protected well enough as we'll see attacked by two pieces only defended by the queen and black will still need to take back on d5 she took on d5 Shibudanitsa won a piece on c5 it all falls apart very very quickly for black and here Novkovic spent her last seconds on rook e c8 pinning the bishop hoping to muddy the waters but it doesn't work black is totally lost Shibudanitsa could have taken on b4 here rook takes c2 knight takes b7 do you win a piece back with black because these pieces are lined up no you don't because bishop takes d5 protects the knight on b7 and white has two extra pieces that was playable but Shibudanitsa did it differently she went for the rook she took on c8 rook takes and now took on b4 rook takes c2 the smoke has cleared and white has an extra rook if we count the pieces that's how quickly things can go wrong against the grandmaster you have developed all your pieces and think you can grab a pawn as black did on c5 but the tactics just don't work out and a handful of moves later you have lost a rook bishop takes d5 takes a pawn was the last move of the game white still had over two minutes left and black was reduced to seconds on the clock Novkovic extended her hand in resignation she's just a full rook down a great start for Chibudanitsa who also won in round two and round three before she lost to Antoinetta Stefanova who as we saw ended on the podium Chibudanitsa herself finished with seven and a half out of 13 games a plus two score in the European Blitz Championships a picture of the handshake on the right you see Novkovic shaking Chibranitsa's hand who's sitting on the left the clock tells a story as well 16 seconds left for Novkovic over two minutes on the clock for Chibranitsa and she's a rook up in the final position and we have the small matter of our game Rick myself with white against a chest to impress viewers with black this is the position after the 23rd move from white queen c2 to d2 I'm attacking your pawn on h6 and it is your turn you can take part in this game by putting your move the 23rd move for black in the comment section underneath this video by doing so you will be part of this interesting very rich complicated game and also you will be in the raffle at the end of the game i will raffle a chess book amongst the viewers who have taken part in this game so i'm looking forward to seeing your 23rd move for black in the comment section and I hope you enjoyed this video on the European Rapid and Blitz Women's Chess Championships 2019. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave a comment. I will read them all and I will reply to them all. If you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, as you can find the chess queen there, Alexandra Kosinyuk. You can find me on Twitter and also on Facebook. This is Rick for Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.